Hi everyone, second video of the night. No, that's not a record, trust me. I'll try and do three and break my record at some point. Right, um, okay, just an update as to where I'm up to with my Bedini feedback to source. Um, still trying to get it to self power. Um, but a couple of things I want to show you before I commence work tonight. Right, first of all, you're gonna love this. Yeah, everyone knows that screen. My laptop's uh, down in the garage. Yes, it sits on top of the bench grinder. No, I don't use the bench grinder while it's on top. So, I am currently uploading my previous video. Right, which is uh, Padini CFL video. Um, so, you guys will get notified by of that, and then you get notification of this one thought you might like that one. Yes, it's wireless before anyone asks. Okay, what have we got? Uh, yep, set to close up. In there, my new Scotkey diodes. Lovely. We like them. They sit nice and pretty in there. Yes, they do, all 25. pair of triple fives. And let's see of CPC. It took a while to get them to me. Right, that one is 100 ohm. Uh, uh, bleh, try again. 100 ohm variable resistor, commonly referred to as a pot. But this one is the. Um, um, there's a little. Uh, I think you can see it just in the centre there above my thumb. Um, there's a little like screw thing that you turn, um, which make them very very accurate. So you can t turn them like uh, uh, a tenth of a turn, and it'll only move very slightly. Again, this one it's another version. This one's one kilo ohm. The other one was 100 ohms. Don't know if I mentioned it. That one's 1k. So they'll be getting mounted shortly. I've also picked up... Oh yes, you've got it. Uh, old style analog dial right, measures up to 100 milliamps Whee! so I'm going to be comparing um, uh, the old style analog meter to um, a multimeter a bit later on hey I just thought I might actually be able to get three in tonight woohoo god won't you lock me upset <laughs> right something else I want to show you this is my Gen 2 board with a Darlington pair. Right, transistors on that are the 2SC4106s. Is that 4106? It is indeed. 4106s. Two uh, diodes that I've been waiting for to go on that. Um, so that'll be done in a moment. Uh, what else have we got? Right. Okay. This little pot here, these are um, matched um, transistors. Right now, those bottom green and black ones, they're going on my voltage pump. More about that later. Right, this lot here, right? Can I? Can't I? No, it won't let me. Okay, the top row, which is all. Going across are two N six four eight eight. Row down is two N six four nine ones, and the bottom one are NEC's K eight one twos. Right, they are matched transistors. As in, I've got four identical there, four identical there, four identical there. Right, one of those lots is PNP and won't work with a Bedini. Um, so just warning you now before anyone goes and looks up those uh, transistors but my point is they are matched transistors in that um, two of them together are identical to each other right? and they go very well together in a Darlington Bedini right? so hint hint matched transistors if you're using two if you buy a Darlington pair look up the data sheet first because some of the Darlington transistors right, 
have additional components built into the uh, transistor itself which don't always like uh, running with Padinis. Okay, on my laptop here. Yeah. Ah, it's almost done. Do -do 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 -do. Right, that circuit there. Oh, gold. Right, you can see. Well, nobody's going to recognise that. No way in hell you lot will recognise that. That's a bit better. Right, that is actually my generation three circuit. You've got it. I'm building the Generation 2 board and designing the Generation 3 circuit at the same time. Wonderful. Anyway, so, what's good about the Gen 3 circuit? Um, well, that's quite simple, really. Anyone recognise that? There. Uh, come right in on it, will you? Anyone recognise that arrangement? Do you? Answers on a postcard. Anyway, right, that is a voltage doubling rectifier. Right, and that's coupled straight onto the trigger coil, as is. Right, now that there, right, we've got a Darlington pair there. That there is a modified version of the um, voltage doubling rectifier. So basically, the back EMF goes via this diode to there. Hopefully, he says, it's an experiment this one is, hopefully having those two coupled capacitors like that and feeding the back EMF into the middle of them, it will, it will allow the flow to flow back around into the cat bank. Right? Now the missing transistor, uh, the missing diode rather, from here, because normally there's two diodes, two capacitors, the missing diode is there, as I've already got, to allow a backflow. Okay, so, touch wood, that'll work. It works in theory, let's test it in practice. Okay, so that's that one. Um, right, what else have we been working on? Oh yes, voltage pump. Oh my god, everyone says. Let's come out a bit. Yes, it's a full screen jobby. <coughs> right. Triple five timer there. We all know that. We've seen it. Um, I'll adjust the timings later on, so don't worry about that one too much. Four resistors for four stages. Right. Stage one. Right. Just look at that. Ignore the um, um, the specs. Two transistors two diodes and a capacitor in the middle. Right, that is one pump stage. Right. Currently done a test on three volts which didn't yield the results that I want. So um, I've worked out that the minimum um, voltage, working voltage coming from my generator coils will have to be four volts right, or thereabouts. Okay, so that's stage one, uh, stage two, three, four. Okay, and yes, I've been simulating the circuit, which this one I can. Uh, I think you can see the voltages there. And those little probe thingies, when you're simulating the circuit, it's like having a um, an all singing, all dancing, do everything multimeter at any point on the circuit, which is absolutely lovely. But one thing I will say is <coughs> multi circuits not always simulate a circuit properly. Um, so I mean for example if we zoom in oh too close you might see it. One in the centre <coughs> currently saying frequency sixteen point six hertz. Right? Well, according to the um, calculation that I used for calculating the frequency of the triple five, it should be 20 hertz. But multisim is saying 16.6 hertz. Hmm. 
does it really make that much difference? Not really. Anyway. Alright, I'm at 10 minutes. Gotta go. Talk to you later. Cheers.